Hello guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alif and for those who've been looking for an affordable and a good quality wireless video transmitter, you guys on the right video because a company called Inkitech sent me an email if I would like to review their latest and greatest wireless transmitter and I say yeah, why not? So they sent me out this transmitter here called the Bandbox Wireless Transmitter. Now this little guy here have the range up to 100 meters and you can pair up to three devices simultaneously which is your smartphone, tablets, even your computer and the best of all, it won't break your bank. So before I talk more about this bandbox transmitter, let's play a little bit of that I've made. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit that I've made and I'm gonna talk a few things about the transmitter and I have listed up in front of my computer here. So basically when you buy the bandbox transmitter, what you'll get in the box is the transmitter itself, the user manual and I highly recommend you guys to go through the user manual and some bunch of cables. Now one side note, they don't provide any HDMI cable in the box so you do have to have your own uh, HDMI cable for you to connect uh, the bandbox transmitter to your camera. Now the bandbox transmitter itself is a very small and the entire body of this transmitter here is made of uh, aluminum metal including the cold shoe mount here which is very good and it makes it very solid so I don't really feel scared to throw this in my bag because I know this thing won't easily break and on the top of the transmitter itself we have a, basically an on off button to switch on the device some LED indicators to tell the device status. On the right side, we have the USB port for you to connect to your camera so that will allow you to control the camera parameters uh, from your smartphone device. On the bottom, we have the USB Type-C for you to charge the device. Now this device will take you roughly around 3 hours to fully charge and it will last around 3 hours of usage. And finally, on the left side, we have the HDMI port for you to basically receive a video feed from your camera. Alright, so let me show you guys how you can set up the bandbox transmitter and see a live feed view from your smartphones. It's pretty easy. So first of all, you just simply mount the bandbox transmitter on top of your camera. And once you've done that, just use the uh, USB cable provided in the box and connect it to your camera and use the HDMI cable that you have and connect it to your own camera. Just simply double tap the on off button uh, to switch on the bandbox device. Now you will need an app uh, in your smartphone device in order for you to look uh, to see a live feed view from your camera. So it's pretty easy. You can download the app through their website or just scan the QR code on the box and they will direct you to their website. If you're using iPhone, you just simply download the iOS app. If you're using Android, just download the Android app and you can also download the Windows version of the app if you are somehow connecting to your Microsoft uh, computers. Alright, so once you download the app from Inkitech website, you can now um, connect to the Bandbox Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna connect it real quick over here. And here it is it. Um, I just simply tap it to connect to my uh, bandbox transmitter. As you can see, I already rename it because I already set up the bandbox transmitter before this. So once you've done that, you can launch the app. And this is how the app looks like. So you just simply press play here to start the uh, receive the live feed view from the camera. So now we are seeing a live feed view from my smartphone device. Now if I press red here, it will start recording. Um, from my camera. Pretty cool. Now for a Sony user, you only have the ability to press record and stop recording and as well take the photos from the app. You don't have any uh, extra control over the aperture and ISO and stuff like that because Sony cameras are designed to be not able to control from a third party device. So if you're using Canon or Panasonic, you definitely have the ability to control your aperture, ISO and etc. Right, so only for Sony users, sadly, you don't have such thing. Right, so on the app itself, uh, if you click the hamburger icon here, we got the Wi-Fi. Now this is the 
where you can rename the Wi-Fi and uh, change the new password and I already did that earlier. Uh, the ROM basically tell you uh, if there's any new firmware update you can just simply download through the uh, firmware here and install it and then the video you can basically pick 1080p or 720p signal uh, let's pick 1080p it will update and the transmitter will transmit uh, up to 1080p 60 frame per second uh, wireless transmission video and about basically tells you what kind of uh, firmware you're currently running on the app right straightforward and on the top uh, right basically tell you uh, some small details about the percentage of the batteries of the band box transmitter and also what kind of video feed you are currently running on right now we are on 1080p now we got five icon on the bottom right so the first one your histogram basically to tell you if your shot is overexposed or underexposed now zebras over here if you tap here you got numbers on the right now if i swipe my uh, smartphone screen here it will basically uh, increase or decrease the zebras um, for you to indicate if it overexposed or not all right and then we have the black and white to tell the contrast and then we got the marker and you have a different type of uh, grid here to use as a guide and if you go uh, tap it and it'll bring you to different type of uh, marker and finally we have a lookup table to apply a uh, loot on your uh, wireless uh, I mean through the app here itself and the lookup table they provide uh, is mostly most of them are just a conversion from a camera profile to rec 709 here we got s lock v lock and even um, I think got uh, black magic I think this is black magic uh, color lock if you want to now I'm not sure if you can apply or put your own custom lookup table uh, but I don't see any way to do that and I wish you could apply your own LUT if you want to now for the latency test here um, I'm not sure uh, I mean I can't tell right now because here I'm recording off screen and um, but you can see it's, uh, it's very minimal the amount of latency here so uh, the latency here is acceptable and you can definitely do a focus pooling through with these uh, wireless transmitter so it's not a really a big uh, problem here because the latency is again like I said is very uh, minimal so you can pull focus and see a um, an actual uh, instant live feed view from the device itself alright so yeah this is how the app looks like so the spam box transmitter is overall is a really good one package of wireless transmitter first of all it's really cheap and affordable it only costs you 109 US dollar and you can also pair up to three devices simultaneously so you can have three monitors on set and you can look it through your smartphone or tablets again simultaneously and also you have a very low latency so you can do a focus pulling with this bandbox transmitter and it, on the paper it have the range of up to 100 meters that's what it said on paper but I really can't try it out right now because we are currently in quarantine and you know in this pandemic time so definitely I'm gonna give it a try and one this quarantine over to see how effective the video uh, transmitter really is in uh, open areas so yeah thank you guys for watching and if you like this video leave some thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel for more uh, cool videos in the future alright so see you guys next time